What is up? My name is Patrick from Slush Films, and today we're bringing another tutorial, the tenth tutorial, uh, to the Java programming language that all of you guys wanted, or most of you guys, a lot of you guys came from a Java programming language series. So here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be learning the subject of comparing values. So let's get started. Comparison operators are used to compare two values in an expression and return a single boolean value of true or false. So we learned boolean values before. Uh, they return a value of true or false. And uh, this is describing the result of that comparison. So comparing values is all about comparison. And the operators that we use for it are first being this equal equal symbol and this is representing equality it's comparing equality so is this number equal to another number so we're comparing this and we're getting we're going to get further into detail afterwards okay so next we're going to have an exclamation mark equal and this is comparing inequality so in java whenever you see this this usually means uh, not you know not equal something like that okay Next, uh, we have uh, this symbol, and this is comparing greater than. So is this number greater than this number? If not, then give us a false result. Okay. Next one is the same symbol, but with an equal sign afterwards. And this is greater than or equal to. Okay. So there's a big difference between those two symbols. Uh, one is greater than, and one is greater than or equal to. Okay, the next one is this symbol, and... Uh, it is comparing less than. Is this number less than this number? If true, then give us a true result, right? So so it makes sense. The, next, the final one is the same symbol but with an equal sign, uh, less than or equal to. So I hope you understand that. Now let's have some examples. So first, let's start out with making a variable string variable called text. And let's equal this to fantastic with the space at the end, of course. And now let's make another one called lang. And let's equal this to Java. Now let's create a Boolean variable and call it state, or yeah, call it state and equal it to text. And let's use this operator. Uh, this is the equality comparison operator. And let's do it to lang semicolon. So you notice that I created brackets here. This is just for organization and it's easier on the eyes. Uh, you don't need to do it if you don't want to, but I think it's better uh, for later, you know. So now uh, let's create a printing outline and let's do string equality test. And let's add state, the state variable to it. And the state variable holds um, this right here. And this is saying, is text equal to lang? If not, give us a false result. If true, give us a true result. So is text equal to lang? Fantastic, equal to Java? No. So if we save this and we press play, it's obviously not going to give us a true result. And as you can see, it's a false result. So that totally makes sense. It's pretty simple. The next uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to use the same boolean variable and we're just going to change it. Okay, so we're going to equal this to text and then we're going to use this operator called um, the in in inequality comparison operator and we're going to do lang and is it, it's saying um, is text not equal to lang? If true, then give us a true result. So now let's print this out. Okay. So string in equality test. And let's add uh, the same variable state. And notice that I changed the variable and it doesn't it doesn't affect anything previously because Java, as I probably told you before, it reads from top to bottom. So I'm just changing here and notice that I didn't put the boolean again because that would just create a new variable. Yeah. Okay, so you can use that. That's very helpful to know. So now let's make uh let's get into numbers. So let's create an integer, call this dozen, and 
let's make it equal to 12 obviously because it's a dozen and let's make another integer called score and uh, equal this to 20 and then let's create a state the change the state variable again and let's do dozen is it greater than score and obviously 12 is not greater than 20 so let's print this out greater than test and let's add the same variable state now let's do one last thing and let's do state let's change the state variable again and let's do dozen is it less than score okay and it's obviously less than so we're gonna get a true result I predict okay so let's print this out less than test and let's add the state variable once again and as you can see, now let's analyze these. Um, so text is it not equal to link? That's true. So it's obviously going to give us a true result. This one is it greater than uh, great is doesn't greater than score twelve greater than twenty? No. So it's going to give us a false result. Now the last one, is it uh, less than score uh, twelve less than twenty? Uh, yes. So that's going to give us a true result. So now let's save it and press play. And as you can see false true false true so that was Not pretty much my so prediction. basically what we learned today we're comparing values all about comparison so we can use this for many many different occasions and uh, this is a really important subject to know uh, to compare different variables to compare different anything basically and it's just really important so we talked about different operators so the different operators were equality comparison, the equality comparison uh, operator, in inequality, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. So that was basically it for my 10th Java programming tutorial on comparing values. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching and do all that YouTube stuff, you know, rate this video comment if you have any questions favorite this video and most importantly subscribe because uh i need subscribers and i really appreciate if you do it so uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video uh, whether it's java programming or uh tech videos or whatever um i'm always there okay so thanks for watching and see you guys later